Wait a minute, this one doesn't thump? Okay, so the question involved is why do solid state amps go thump or pop when you turn them on? And sometimes they do it when you turn them off too. Well, it's going to depend a little bit on the design of your amplifier, but for the most part, on these solid state amplifiers, your output transistors, this is the schematic for a custom 200, are coupled directly to the output with no transformer. If you recall from what we've learned about tube amps from some other channels um, that cover tube amp schematics in depth, there is an output transformer which prevents DC from reaching the output as only AC can travel through a transformer. But in this case, we are directly coupled with our output transformers to the speaker. And if we look, we have a complementary pair of output transistors, or out, a complementary output set of NPN and PNP, where one side of the rail is positive 39.5 and minus 39.5, negative 39.5. This is for custom uh, K200, by the way, like our big tall stacks were. But if you actually look at the amplifier, the upper half and the lower half are generally symmetrical with minor exceptions that these uh, transistors are going to, we're going to have NPN on one side and PNP on the other side, thus the different part numbers. Essentially the reason we get a pop is because we momentarily have DC on the output. These transistor pairs essentially if we take, you know, plus 39.5 and minus 39.5, we add them up together, we should get zero, right? Because a negative plus a positive, you're going to get zero. And that's ideally what we want out of the amplifiers. But when we first turn them on, the plus voltage rail and the minus voltage rail don't instantaneously come up to the exact same voltage at the same time. They do within a very short period of time, but when you first flip on your amplifier, one side, either the positive or the negative, may come up first, which will move your speaker. When the other side comes up to match it, it goes back to zero, thus releasing your speaker. Kind of like snapping a rubber band. This can also happen when you power down. When you power down your amplifier, if one of the voltage rails drops before the other, some DC will flow through to the other side of the push-pull circuit, thus again sort of making the speaker snap like a rubber band. So that's all well and good. It's normal for most amps. To reduce this popping, try turning the volume down. It works on a lot of them. So just make sure your volume is real low before you snap them on or off. But what about the case of our big 700 watt PV? It didn't go pop or poof or anything like that. Wait a minute, this one doesn't thump? Well, it has a secret. Kinda, sorta. It's what we have in hi-fi. I bet you guys maybe have a vintage receiver from the 90s or the 2000s or whatever, and you turn it on and all the lights come on, but you don't instantaneously get sound. It takes a second, and then the thing goes click, and then you get sound. That's the same thing that's in our 800 or 700 watt PV, our big firebase. It has a relay that waits for the power rails to come all the way up and to show that there is balance before it is allowed to connect the speakers. And that'll also help protect your speakers because if these transistors short and you get dead DC across the output that's when you got speakers that die. We've had several amplifiers come through this channel here that have had blown out speakers. So ladies, gentlemen, and everybody else who may not have decided yet, the power rails not coming up equally can create DC across your speaker and that's why your solid state amp may pop or thump when being switched on or switched off. Reduce your volume to the lowest you can before switching it on and off and hopefully that'll reduce the thump.
if it was going to blow your speakers, the manufacturer probably would have thought about that ahead of time. But it is kind of annoying. Let's take our amp to a nice quiet place like church and then turn it on. Poof! Great.